Hello everyone, this is the SMT shelf installation video. This is the installation process of a set of Qingjie type material racks. First, we install the beam. The installation requires our people on both sides of the column at the same time and needs to use electric drill with M6 bolt. We start to install the fixed feeder. Note that the installation position install a fixed feeder every 40 mm. The number of type material racks is 35. We started to install the material rack M5 screw. Install R, a type material racks per layer. Go through the fixed feeder. Note that the inside is fixed with nuts on both sides. Then fix it with two nuts on the outside to prevent it falling off. We start to place the cables. Use Lego SMT rack and R type wires. Place the cable at the location of the specified layer. Note that the position of each thread head needs to be consistent with the position of the layer. Then use the rack seal to wrap the cable around. Note that the outlet position requires scissors to cut a gap. In addition, wrap all the grooves in the outer position with a seal. Keep them beautiful. We start to install the light bar. Let the cable of the light bar go through the hole that has been drilled. Then snap the light bar in according to the groups of the material racks. Finally, install both sides with screws. The cable of the light bar is connected with the aviation head of the type wire of the material rack. We start to install the QR code. The QR code is at the lamp bit S position. Paste it along the strip. Note that each layer of the QR code is different. Every QR code is unique. Therefore, it is necessary to paste the corresponding QR code according to the actual number of layers. We start to install movable feeder. The movable feeder is directly opened in the groove. We need to install 665 mm available feeders in total. Ips and controllers. The following are tower light Ips. Tower light accessories. Ips accessories. Controller M164 core cable. Controller, controller power cable, controller installing accessories and shrapnel nut screw. First, we take the shrapnel nut and place it in the groove. Install the tower light and Ips accessories. Then install the tower light and Ips to the accessories. Connect the tower light and IMPS cable. The IMPS cable is connected to the type wire of the material rack. Connect the type cable with the controller M16 for core cable. Finally, wrap each cable into the material rack with a seal. Keep it beautiful.
At last, we connect the device with the aviation connector on the controller. Install the accessories of the controller. We plug the aviation connector into the bus E of the controller. Here are some instructions. Bus E corresponds to the physical address of devices E to 50. Bus R corresponds to the physical address of the device 51 to 100. Bus 3 corresponds to the physical address of devices 101 to 150. Bus 4 corresponds to the physical address of devices 151 to 200. We plug the power network port, and then the device is ready. After installation, we start hardware debugging. First, connect the device and our computer to the same local area network by modifying the corresponding network settings in the adapter selection. Set the computer's network address to a fixed IP. We open the folder corresponding to the SMT Tools software. Open ORIS PDL Tools software. Select Qi. Zagged configuration in the above menu. It should be noted that the network card selection and the local IP. This IP address is the IP address we just set for the computer. We search for the corresponding control. Click configuration, set IP address. Attention, this IP address needs to be on the same network segment as our computer's IP address. Automatically restart the controller after the configuration is complete. Afterwards, we can find that the controller has changed into the corresponding IP address. Next, we start to set the configuration. The configuration file is the corresponding relationship of the physical address of the device. We choose E, device level. Choose create to generate configuration files. The default name is PTL, device install project. Save to the corresponding project folder. In the configuration file, add the corresponding controller and electronic label. Select Add Zagit. Set IP address and port address. The IP address is the controller address just set before. Do not modify the port number 502. Choose OK. Multiple controllers can be added. After the controller is set successfully, start setting the physical address of the device on the bus. The physical address is equivalent to the IP of the device. The IP on the same bus is all unique. You should choose bus E. Select a PTL device. Choose Terra. Select a physical address. One type of device is on a bus. You can set the physical address of multiple devices at the same time. A type material rack selects EBT address. Save after confirming. Select bus E. Select a uh, PTL device. Choose IBS. Select a physical address. A type material rack selects 9 address. Save after confirming. Select bus E. Select a uh, PTL device. Choose Terra. Select a physical address. One type of device on a bus. You can set the physical address of multiple devices at the same time. Type of material price selects 11 to 17 address. Save after confirming. Select bus E. Select a uh, PTL device. Choose IBS. Select a physical address. A type material rack selection 19 to 19 address. Save after confirming. Instructions. Terra is an electronic rack setup. Among them, EBT corresponds to the address of the side of the type material rack, and 11 to 17 corresponds to the address of the B side of the type material rack. If it is bus R, set the address from 51. IBS is a tower light switching device. D and do correspond to the type of the device. Most of our devices are DE, do It needs to be reiterated here. Bus E bus is the physical address of 1 to 50. Bus R bus is physical address 51 to 100. The physical address of the bus is limited. In this video, we only set one bus. After the configuration file is set completely, we start the broadcast setup. Broadcast setting is a function of setting the address of electronic material rack in batches. Select our broadcast settings. Select the IP address of the channel. This IP is the IP address of the controller. Select the corresponding bus. Now we choose bus E. Select all can be set in batches. But the batch setting will clear the device physical address on the bus. At this moment, all the electronic racks are lit up. Use the pins to poke into the holes on the left end of the light bar. After the setting is successful, the progress bar of the physical address on the system jumps forward. It should be noted here that the physical address of the device and the configuration file must be in one-to-one -one correspondence. Both the light bar and the IBS adapter require a pin to poke into a small hole on the device to sit. At the same time, the software displays the progress of the device setting. After all settings are completed, 
All labels indicate that the current bus setup is completed. We perform a device stress test. Choose Wu stress test. Select channel and bus. You can select all devices for testing. The interval can be set shorter. 2到三 seconds are OK. At this time, all the red lights will send and receive information and display cyclically according to the specified content. Mainly observe the electronic material red LED tube and whether the communication speed is normal. The general test time is not less than 2 hours. We can perform a single device test. Test a single device, including that the lighting of different alien output ports of tower light can correspond to different colors of tower light. All above is the hardware installation and debugging of our device. Thanks for watching.